The overall goal of this experiment is to understand the bacterial community that is present within a silage sample, although these procedures can be applied to a range of different sample types. This method can help answer key questions when identifying the prokaryotic communities found within complex microbial systems, such as in the case presented here, silage for animal feed. The main advantage of this technique is that shotgun sequencing is employed rather than the more conventional 16S amplicon sequencing, enabling a much greater accuracy when classifying the microbiome. This method can be applied to a wide range of other samples where complex microcosms may form, such as in the human gut, on the surface of the skin, in water samples, or even around the office coffee machine. A commercial kit is used to extract DNA from the silage sample. Begin this procedure by adding 100 to 400 milligrams of the sample to 978 microliters of sodium phosphate buffer and 122 microliters of soil lysis buffer in the supplied lysis tube. Include a negative control that has no silage sample. Homogenize the samples by placing the lysis tubes into the homogenizer for 40 seconds at a speed of 6.0 meters per second. Centrifuge the lysates for 15 minutes. Transfer the supernatant to a clean microcentrifuge tube containing 250 microliters of protein precipitate solution and mix the solution by inverting 10 times. Then, centrifuge for 5 minutes. Transfer the supernatant to a clean 15 milliliter centrifuge tube that contains 1 milliliter of DNA binding matrix. Mix the solution by inverting the tube constantly for 3 minutes.